The Texas Longhorns and the Oklahoma Sooners are on their way to the SEC, and the pundits seem to agree that Texas is going to be great, but Oklahoma is going to struggle. Do the Sooners have something to prove in week one? Well, we're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get all my football picks. That's college football, NFL, and NFL preseason until the end of September for one low price of 249 bucks. Why would you be interested in that? Well, I do my homework over the summer, and the results have been impressive. We're 41 and 12, 77% with college football in August and September, the last two seasons. And when you add in NFL and NFL preseason, we're hitting 75%. You can get that right now at wt.buzz slash deals. That's the Wager Talk Deals page. But you're not obligated to purchase anything from me. In fact, you're more than welcome just to sit back and enjoy the free content. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep on putting out these free play videos. Now let's get into the free pick. Uh, Oklahoma hosting Temple in week one. The Sooners are a 41.5 point favorite. The total's sitting at 59 and a half. Uh, this Oklahoma team won by a score of 70 to three at home against Arkansas State last year in week one. And uh, we might expect another blowout here against Temple. Temple lost their starting quarterback, EJ Warner, who transferred out of the program. And he was not alone. There was a lot of guys fleeing from this Temple program in the transfer portal. Surely they brought some guys in, but uh, Temple's not exactly a desirable destination for incoming transfers, so don't expect them to bring in too many big names. The book the bookmakers are not bullish on Temple. Their season win total is set at two and a half, and they are projected to finish dead last in the American. Oklahoma uh, pundits are, are uh, skeptical of Oklahoma's offensive line. They lost everybody on the offensive line from last season, but they did hit the transfer portal and they brought in a ton of guys with experience that may or may not work out. Um, I'm optimistic that they can work out for Oklahoma, but one thing I'm more than optimistic about is they should do just fine in this game against Temple. Temple is not the team that's going to test that offensive line. Uh, Temple was terrible on defense last year, and they lost their leading tackler to uh, the NFL draft. Uh, Oklahoma, they're uh, 40 and 40 to one to win the SEC compared to Texas, that's just three to one. Despite the fact the Sooners won the Red River rivalry last year by a score of 34 to 30. Uh, Jackson Arnold takes over a quarterback, a five-star recruit that did get some experience last year, had his ups and downs. Again, I'm optimistic that Jackson Arnold can have a good year. Uh, I'm more than optimistic that he's going to have a good game here against a Temple team that just isn't going to be able to match up. Temple's defense uh, ranked last in FBS and turnovers last year. This is going to be a blowout, but the way I'm going to attack it is I'm going to look at the team total. Of course, there, uh, there are no team totals available at this point in the year. We're still a month out before this game kicks off. But we have the spread, we have the total, and we can come up with a projected final score with the spread being 41.5 and, and the total being 59.5. And That's roughly a projected final score of 51 to 9. I'm going to say that uh, the team total for Oklahoma is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 51.5. And, and I'm going to say take the over for Oklahoma's team total of 51.5. And why would I suggest that instead of just laying the 41 and a half points? Well, in the event that uh, they take their foot off the gas in the fourth quarter and this game ends with a final score of, say, 55 to 14, that's a pretty bad beat if you got the minus 41 and a half. I think you're better off taking the uh, team total over. And uh, so that's the way we're going to play it. Uh, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, Hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.